Mojo. It's another Mojo moment full of memorization magic. This time it's on biotic factors. We have a very visual story for you here today, so open up your imagination and let's get started. You're out walking in the park when you spot a weird robot working on the gardens. It's in the shape of a capital B that has B Robot written on it. Unlike the A Robot you found dead on the beach, this one is clearly alive. So this helps you to recall that biotic factors are the living factors that affect a community. As you get closer, you note that the B Robot is operating a machine that automatically lays a new path across the park. On the side it says Pathogen. It generates paths. Pathogens. That's the first biotic factor to remember. The bee robot keeps glancing hungrily towards a picnic rug. You realise that its picnic is set out on the rug, so there is food available for it. That's another biotic factor, availability of food. But the reason it's glancing over nervously is because there is a bird eating all the food. The robot has a competitor for the food. If it does not get there soon, there won't be enough food to keep it alive. Then where will all the new young bee robots come from? Competition for food is a biotic factor, which can lead to numbers of species being too low to reproduce at a sufficient rate. But, the bee robot is pleased to note, at that exact moment a cat leaps out and kills the bird. It's a new predator arriving on the scene. Not good for the bird, but cats don't eat robots. And that is how to recall the biotic living factors that affect a community. Now, have a go at the quiz and the worksheet to get your recall synapses going. That will reinforce the memorization process. Make sure you re-watch this video when we email you a reminder in order to get it to stick long term in your brain. But meanwhile, thanks for using your imagination.